Hello! Today I felt like doing a special effects sort of tutorial again. So I did this um, winter snow fairy inspired thing. Not sure what I'm gonna call it yet. Um, it actually doesn't require all the many special makeup things. Like I use liquid latex but you could also use eyelash glue. Um, and instead of face paint you could also use eyeshadow. Um, so yeah, it's actually pretty easy but it was a lot of fun to do. So let's get started. So, seeing as none of my foundations was pale enough for this look, I decided to actually mix my palest foundation, which is the Maybelline Superstay in True Ivory, with an actual white foundation by Manic Panic. Just blended them together on a sponge and then obviously applied it to my face. And the white foundation actually is, well, it's sort of patchy on its own, but when blended with other foundations, it actually works very well. And it also turned out to work very well as a concealer. Um, I did want to highlight underneath my eyes, but obviously I did ha didn't have any concealers that were actually paler than my face was at this point. So yeah, I just decided to use the white foundation for that. And then it's time for powder. Powder I used is this one by uh, Peggy Sage. It's a translucent powder, but as you can see it's sort of white in the jar, which means that if you apply enough it's going to be white on the face as well. Um, so yeah, I applied a whole lot underneath my eyes, bought to set it and to make it even paler. And then also applied a whole lot on my T-zone and on my eyelids to perform the prevent greasiness and creasing and all that annoying stuff. And then a whole lot more on my, well, the rest of my face really. Just to make everything paler and then I just used the brush to blend it out. All in all, a whole lot of powder was used is what I'm trying to say here. And then I decided to bring some color back into the face with eyeshadow. Um, the only eyeshadows I used all came from the BH Cosmetics 120 color palette. Which obviously has a lot of colors so that's pretty easy for looks like these. I used the blue side and then a little bit of the blue and white on the other side of the palette. And the first thing I did was shaping. Um, what I did is just pretty much like the brush I'm using is bigger than the eyeshadow pen. So I just used four eyeshadow pens, just stuffed the brush in there and put it on my face. Like, you don't need the exact same colors that I'm using. Just, you know, use whatever feels right to you. As long as the blue is darker than your skin, it'll work. So I just shaped like usual and then also shaped my collarbones. Because I do want to actually drag this look onto my chest. To sort of make it look more complete, I guess. And then it's time for face paint. I'm using my Crayola play as usual. And this time I'm using the blue and sort of... I was going for sort of like veins of ice, I guess. Sort of difficult to explain, but like very pale, almost translucent skin and then the veins showing, but instead of blood, the veins contain ice, snow, winter, essence, whatever. And yeah, pretty much I encircled my entire face with it. Sort of making the shaping even more obvious. And then made some other tiny lines, like closer to my hairline, closer to the edge of my face. To again make it look more like shaping actually. And then did the same thing on my neck. There's no real science to this, just make it look as random as you can and it will look the best. Honestly, I'm not very good at doing stuff at random, so I always have to really try not to make it look too, I don't know, overly even, I guess. But yeah, either way, then I also decided to fill in my chest with blue. I used a whole lot of water with it because I didn't want, I didn't want Smurf blue, I just want sort of a blue washing over my skin. So yeah, I just used a whole lot of water and some glitter and filled in my chest. Just so that every part that won't be covered by clothes later will actually be blue. And then I went on to the um, part that was really fun to do but not very fun at all to take off again in the end. Um, I used liquid latex on my eyebrows and then I put uh, sort of small little foam balls on it, fake snow. Because I wanted the eyebrows made of snow. And yeah, it looked really cool. I really, like, <laughs> it was a lot of fun applying it. Um, but do keep in mind, if you do this, it's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to get the liquid latex off your eyebrows again. Yeah, I can tell you that from experience now. Um, yeah, it really clings to the, hair, to the hair. But yeah, in my opinion, it was worth it. So I pretty much just filled them in and then just added balls here and there to make them look more even. And yeah, when they were finally even enough, they looked like this. And then it's time for glitter. Uh, the glitter I used just comes from a gardening store. It's a huge bottle of sort of duochrome glitter. 
And a um, bottle of fixing spray, a very cheap one by Makeup Revolution. And I just sprayed it on my brush, grabbed some glitter and applied it. And it just sticks very well to the skin that way. Um, pretty much I started out highlighting with the glitter, then decided to add some more glitter and more glitter. And eventually there was a lot of glitter involved, as you can see here. But yeah, I just love glitter and I thought it suited well with the look. Then for the eyes, I started out with a primer. Um, the primer is actually darker than my skin at this point. So at first I was trying not to use a primer because I was afraid it was going to be too dark. However, the eyeshadow proceeded to do not show up at all without a primer. So I added it anyway and it looked fine. So yeah, that was a nice surprise. And the look I did is just very, very easy. Like I didn't want it to look as if I was wearing makeup. I just wanted it to look as if it was the natural skin. So what I did is I did sort of an ombre from white to dark blue. And just sort of following the shape of the eyebrow, like arching it upwards a little. And just making it look as blended as possible. So yeah, I used about four or five shades of blue, I think, all in all for this part. And then just blended it some more with a blending brush. Just to make it look as smooth as possible. And then it was time for falsies. Um, these falsies I bought at Born Pretty Store ages ago. They're really big, really doll-like. And I felt they were really perfect for this look. Um, yeah, most of the applying of the eyelashes went off camera as usual. Because I'm seriously awful at applying them on myself. Like on other people it's easy because I can see what I'm doing. But on myself I can't see what I'm doing. And it just, it, it's difficult. But yeah, eventually it worked and I could move on to mascara. So I used a mascara with a very tiny wand. Uh, this is the Catrice Glamour Doll one. Just to darken up the lashes at my inner corners. To really make them fit with the falsies. And just, you know, glue them to my falsies as well. And then filled in the bottom lashes. And then I decided that I actually thought the waterline was sort of too warm toned and dark for the look. So I filled it in with white, it just seemed to look way better with it. And then finally it's time for the lips. I decided to do blue lips because, well obviously the entire look is very blue and blue lips just seem to finish it off really nicely. Um, the pale blue lipstick I'm using now is by Born Pretty Store, or at least I bought it off Born Pretty Store ages ago. And it's the same shade pretty much as the face paint I used. And then in the outer corners I used a blue, dark blue eyeshadow stick by Yves Rocher. Just to make sort of more of an ombre effect. Again, to make it look more natural almost. And yeah, then that's the final look. I really enjoyed filming this. I really like the more like extreme makeups really. Especially in winter. I just love snow and ice. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much for watching as always. And see you next time.